So thank you all for joining this uh, community call. Um, this uh, open air provide community call. So we want to do it, uh, and we are doing it every every month in the first Wednesday of the month to involve all the um, those that manage the data sources that contribute to the the open air research graph that um, are providers of of the, the open air content and uh, your content is visible in, in open air so for repository managers from publication repositories from data repositories from CRI systems other kinds of data sources so this the, the idea of this community is to involve you all and to let you know about the main uh, developments that we we are doing in the and the, and the main services that target uh, content provider managers, repository managers. So th this this community call is is dedicated to the um, uh, to today uh, to the new version of of provide, and uh, we want to also to highlight some kind of use cases. So we will let you know as usually we do. Um, uh, which which uh, novelties do we have to 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 share with you or or kind of uh, reminders and then um we thought that uh, it was useful also to have uh, three four use cases to to share uh, with you how repository managers are using the the provide service so how, how they use the the validator uh, to check the, the compliance uh, and to improve the metadata quality, how do they use the enrichments, the events that we are generating with the metadata enrichments for each repository, how they link the um, repositories to this uh, to this service, different kinds of of use cases uh, in order to make it simple and also to try to have also your uh, your uh, input. So we invite. Uh, for persons to share some some kind of use cases, but uh, uh, the idea that you are all invited also to share use cases, difficulties, some issues that you that you have of, uh, or some some good things that we also have in the in the provide if you want. So um, this is the main uh, the main objective of this of this call. Usually we have always a main topic in each in each call. So this time is to, to just to share these use cases. Last last call, as you, as you remember, um, early April was dedicated to the CRI systems, uh, mainly the use case of, of the this space CRI system, and and the next call we want to dedicate it also to data repositories in in June. So, but let's let's just use here uh, three four minutes um, to highlight and uh, to highlight the novelties and the, and the main thing is of course to the new version of the provide that is available we promised that to early september and we, we did it uh, just the uh, uh, the week after the our last call um so we we have a new um, user interface uh, available some some new features but mainly a, a rebrand and the redesign of the of the of the service uh, trying to uh, to um, align with some of the the user uh, feedback that we have received um, and also to fix some some critical issues that we have in communication between the um, the, the, prov the the content provider managers and 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 some of the open air services so we solved that we put it in production we know that is not perfect there are some things to 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 improve um and this is why uh, so this is the second information this is why we are running a set of user interface tests usually of course we we should have been done this uh, in in a better stage and we, we did it in a better stage this is why we have this redesign but there are some things that we believe that uh, we can improve and uh, they are easy to 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 improve and this is why we are having this uh, three weeks of um, user interface tests in order then to fix some things really in production and then we solve it and then of course if we have bigger changes we can do it in later in a in a another uh, version uh, but uh, this is a an open environment and uh, so we believe that we what we are offering is good we know that 
there are some things that we should improve. So this is why we are doing this user interface tests in production. Um, and it's it, it it was quite good. I, I just have a photo. I should have a, a print a screenshots from other from other people that in fact some of them are here. I, I, I already saw I already saw um, Francisco from the Polytechnic and from Valencia also here in the call uh, that also already did uh, one of the tests. But we are running um, a user interface tests based on our uh, user uh, board. Uh, I also send the invitation. We have already scheduled some. We need to scale, schedule others. Uh, if you want to participate, please send an, uh, an email. We Maybe we can uh, integrate two or three uh, new persons in this in this board and have two or three new, new tests. Uh, we are open. We are running um, over this week and the coming week. Um, so Jordan, that will also present a use case, also have a, a meeting with us. So we are running uh, this uh, user interface tests, testing the some of the um, uh, of, of of the of the features and the uh, the the way that uh, people interact with the, the dashboard. Uh, we have a set of actions asking people to to perform, and we evaluate. We are not evaluating people; we are uh, the users. We are evaluating ourselves. <laughs> um, but I think uh, the the results are, are being so really great. So thank you very much for those that are involved in spending uh, a little bit of of your time with, with with us. And we know about some of the issues that uh, that that we are that we have, uh, um, and maybe here in the. In the demo, I can I can highlight some. So this is quite good that we have people available to to collaborate with us for this user interface tests. And just the last information before I give just a brief demo, highlighting some of the changes that we did to the to the um, to the service. Um, I just want to highlight one of the the um, the bugs. Let's let, let's call it, uh, uh, it, it. It's a real use to that we have been provided is the um, on the on the user statistics service. We realized um, after the pilot phase and after several repositories um, joined the service and enabled the service, we realized that we had um, a scalability uh, issue with um, the service, um, and we. We solve it on the back end side. So uh, the information that we have, uh, this is uh, so really information from the technical team that the work is has been completed. Uh, so and uh, it's 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 already so available uh, in production. Uh, so but we need to solve it um, like a kind of. Uh, uh, group, repository by repository for those that have already enabled the service. So it's a kind of slow process in order to monitor all the procedures. Uh, but uh, it's solved, which is good, um, and the results are already uh, good. Um, so uh, if if you want to um, just put it here in the chat or send us an email, directly for me or for also for my colleague Andrea. I will put the emails at the end or Andrea can also share it in the our emails in the in the chat. If you want to have a kind of um, have a request to prioritize your repository uh, to to um, to fix uh, what we have already fixed in the back end also for your repository just just send us email. So because we are doing this repository by repository and the uh, and we know that there are people uh, quite interested in this service that have some kind of urgent um, needs uh, to use this service. So if you want, just put your email there or highlight your repository and we will try to 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 have it um, as soon as possible for, for use of it. I also did this request for the technical team this morning. <laughs> uh, so I hope that they can they can also help us uh, to prioritize some of your repositories. So these are the main issues. Uh, so I, we hope that uh, gradually uh, the content of the user statistics that you see in your uh, dashboard uh, will be um, correct and, and, and will be fixed after this uh, process.
Um, so uh, before the, we share these uh, use cases uh, with you, uh, I just want to highlight some of the. Um, I just want to give a brief presentation about what we have uh, new in the um, in the provide uh, in the provide service. Um, so let me open here. The uh, I hope that you yes you are seeing my my screen. So we have a, a completely different um, home page uh, to present the service. We also have an about page with more detailed information about the service. Let's say that the home page is uh, and the about is for those that are new uh, or that want to join uh, the service or want to join open air and to benefit from the service. But 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 I think it's it's quite much it's, it's much better now where we explain the different. Um, um functionalities of the of the service uh, we also present some numbers in order to highlight what we have in this uh, in the in the, the open air infrastructure that uh, uh, is uh, is connected of course to the to the provide service and we link also for the main uh, guidelines or the main um, policy documents uh, regarding the the provide the provide service and the uh, uh, we have this available. Um, we we so uh, the dashboard. So when you click and and, and sign in and and connect to the dashboard, you see uh, so really a, a, a kind of dashboard. Uh, I think before what we had in the dashboard was a kind of um, of um, uh, web pages, normal web pages where you can play a bit a little bit with with your data. I think now you can you can uh navigate through the different uh, information that we have in the kind of, of, of dashboard uh you have a specific page uh where you can see where you can check the notifications that you have as a a, a provider a provider manager um so you can check the the, the notifications uh you can you can um so the notifications are basically um, information that you receive uh, from um, from the subscriptions of, of of metadata enrichments. But our goal is to provide more uh, new types of notifications here. For the time being, we only have available the subscriptions that you do in the metadata enrichments. But we want to send you some messages from our infrastructure, like kind of metadata alerts. Uh, that we found uh, some errors when we when we aggregate your content, um, uh, other kinds of uh, of um, of metadata in, um, enrichments or additions that we can send it to you. Um, so, for for the time being, this is the kind of notifications that we have, and you you can always click in the in the in your um, in your. Um, the source you can have i'm showing now an example from the university of minho um, repository but you can have more data sources if you manage two two repositories or if you manage a journal and a repository so you have more data sources and you can navigate through the data that you have here we have a kind of um, brief presentation about the main um uh, numbers that you have from 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 the in the provide uh, related with the user statistic service, but related with the the enrichments. But then you can uh, navigate. So the, so one important uh, development that we did in the previous version, it, and uh, we did it also now, is the the aggregation history. We think that this is quite important for you to understand when was the last time that we have aggregated your content and uh, which version of your content is available in production and index it. Uh, we realize and we know that we need to improve a bit the explanation about this, but this is already very good information for you to, to put it more clear. Uh, then here in this part, uh, we have the enrichments, the more and the missing. The missing is something that we are sending to you, suggesting to you as a metadata enrichment that you don't have in your repository. Uh, the more is something that we are sending to you that you already have, but you may be interested in something more that we found for you. Uh, for example, you have already an open access version of your of your record, but we found others and maybe you are interested. In the missing, we are sending you 
for example, uh, an open access version, for example, here that you don't have in your in your uh, repository that you have a restricted or a closed uh, record, and we are sending you an open access. So now you can play a bit with the, the metadata enrichment as as the past. The way that you interact with the filter is a bit different, so you can see just a, a summary of the, of the record and you can show more or show less the, the metadata record you can filter the results here by date or by this trust level uh, that uh, so is a, is a result of course of some of the enrichment is a, are a result of the test mining and you can you can uh, apply a, a, a a trust level, a higher trust level, or, 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 um, and then you can do it here in the in the filter, um, uh, and then uh, you have the different uh, enrichments. As you know, one of the last enrichments that we have introduced is the the orchid. Okay, is uh, um, the author identifier. So we are already sending also when we identify. We found our key information in records we are sending to, to your repository if you don't have it. Okay, and then uh, the other component is regarding the user statistics. So for those that uh, where you can enable or you can play with your uh, information. Uh, here we have some issues with, um, with uh, the data that you have available here. We need to update this. But this is what I told in the beginning and you can uh, get different uh, reports and when the issues with your repository are solved you will you will interact perfectly with uh, this um, this service so use the statistics the enrichments the aggregation history um, and then <coughs> the place where you can update information about your repository uh, so it's available here and the way it works is, is similar. We didn't uh, have done so so much, um, let's say, uh, improvements uh, regarding this service. Um, and 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 then the validator is available here, uh, where you can uh, play with the validate and validate, uh, uh, test the validation against your repository, or you can also have the the registration here. Um, also to perform um, some uh, registration of, of, of you have a new data source that you want to register in open air or here if you if you want to validate against the, um, any of the guidelines that we have available so this is what we have uh, available in the in this new version uh, we are happy because i think it's much better now we know that we can improve and this is why we have these open calls and we have the the trello dashboard where we can share improvements and where we have a, and why we are running also the user the user tests uh, with some members of our of our community we can we can uh, i'm not sure if we have uh, some comments here or questions in the chat uh, not yet but if you want please uh, you can put your questions um if you have any urgent question also now you can you can also join so feel free not only to put your questions in the chat but also to um uh, do it with the uh, video microphone open uh, so if you have any questions regarding the, the this demo please ask now um if not we we can go uh, and uh, move to the next part of this uh, community call uh, to the use cases that we want to present uh, and uh, and also have the questions at at the end um, but um let's wait just a little bit in order for you to to, to check if there is if there is any question regarding this uh, this um, this demo or some information that we want to 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 have uh, be aware that there are some other people uh, from uh, from open air and from the, specifically from the technical team that manage some components of the provide available also to answer so if you have questions that i am not completely um that i don't have all the knowledge to reply to you for sure we will have someone here that have or Later, I can reply. 
Uh, okay, so if you don't uh, if you don't have any question, um, to uh, let's let's move to the use cases, and then if you have questions, uh, we, we we can we can do it. Uh, so uh, for the use cases, uh, we just invite for persons to share. The way that they are interacting with the um, with the provide service in different perspectives, um, uh, and just to, to showcase. Of, of course, they they each of, of of them can also present other things, but just highlight some some specific things regarding the the enrichments or the validator, etc. So, and we will have um, uh, a colleague from the um, from Italy from Trieste. Uh, Jordan, so Jordan, then you all can present yourself when you start talking. You are part of the community. Yeah, let's have it as an open, open, uh, open way. Uh, so this is a specific repository that is part of OpenAir, uh, and uh, he, Jordan, will present. Um, then uh, Brianna uh, from Serbia um, will also um, uh, share uh, the the use case from uh, from the repositories from serbia um, and then two uh, cases uh, from from portugal okay it was easy for us to invite uh, for two different reasons uh, ricardo ricardo is the repository manager from university of minho in portugal and juan diaz is a manager also in uh, in with repository and uh, journals uh, in uh, the Catholic University from, from, from Portugal. So Jordan, Brianna, Ricardo and João are part of the community, like you are part of the community and they will share uh, their use cases. Now we can start with, uh, with Jordan. So if you want to start um, sharing your screen, I will stop sharing my and uh, you can oh, share your screen, Jordan. Hello. Hello, yes, hello, hello. Uh, when then we can start can... with these four cases and at the end, uh, if you want, you can ask questions about the demo and about the use cases, or you can join and also open your um, camera and microphone and share also your experience with, uh, with Provide. Let's use the 40 minutes that we have for this call for this to sharing these this, uh, experiences. Okay, Jordan, the floor is yours. Thank you for, for, for joining and, and, and for giving this, this uh, presentation. Thank you all. Uh, let's start. Let me introduce myself. I am uh, Jordan Pischens, uh, the um, Institutional Repository Chris IT Manager. I am uh, involved uh, for more than 10 years uh, with the repositories at our University at Trieste in Italy. It is in the northeast of Italy. Uh, on the border with Slovenia. Um, let me say, we started in 2006 with, with the first pilot project with uh, this space. Uh, now, uh, I am aware that we were lucky to start with this space, that it's a uh, great software, but also has a great community. And uh, nowadays, great integration and compliance with many international standards uh, and also open air. <laughs> Uh, in fact, uh, uh, yesterday when I was preparing the slides, uh, I was checking when we first start with uh, an open air compliance test and I found in 2014 we have done uh, with the space for uh, the first uh, tests and let me say that in 2016 we have migrated to the space Chris uh, with uh, for science technical support. Let me uh, show you uh, what we have at our university. We have uh, Open Starts, that is the first uh, repository, that is now a CRIS, also a GLAM, and a data archive that uh, have all uh, the data that uh, could not stay in uh, the CRIS system, uh, RTS, that is the one that all the universities in Italy are using. The, this is the IRIS system. And uh, in 2016, we also start with a collaboration with other two universities of our region, University uh, of Udine and CISA, to make a regional portal that collects all the data 
of our repositories in the region. Uh, so this is a huge portal uh, that uh, is trying to expose all our data uh, of the region. Well, and uh, what are we using on the open air provider dashboard? Uh, as I say, uh, we start uh, uh, with registering and validating. So the validator was the first uh, service that we used. Uh, this space quiz is uh, compliant to open air guidelines for literary repositories, uh, version 3, version 4 is coming soon, uh, data archive, but also uh, for quiz managers. In fact, uh, we were the first in 2016 that we start the implementation of the first quiz manager guidelines. And uh, last year in October, November, we have done also with uh, for science and open air, the first pilot test for these uh, uh, guidelines. Uh, for us, it's very important, uh, this validator, uh, because uh, now, uh, let me say, it's really clear how, which errors are uh, um, remaining in our repository with uh, metadata. The interface is very clear because you show the guidelines, you show the errors, and you are aware of what you have to fix. Uh, remembering the first email that uh, uh, I received in 2014 from OpenAir, it was not so clear as, uh, as here. In fact, uh, it was my first contact with Pedro asking uh, uh, what I have to do. Okay. The second step are the enrichments. Uh, very important to get all the missing uh, DOIs, for example, and uh, the possibility to subscribe to these uh, events. Why? Because if something is missing, okay, we could use the notification. And uh, this is another uh, great surprise for us because this space Chris has a great integration, uh, an automatic ingestion, for example, of project uh, um, with the project API that is integrated. So what uh, happens? Uh, I get a notification, uh, you are missing a project. I go to uh, my this space Chris, uh, I check and um, then I could uh, simply insert this missing project directly in our this space Chris. I show that I, I see that Ricardo will show you better all this part, so I move forward. And uh, let me say, last but not least, uh, the user statistic. Why? Because uh, also these are integrated uh, with the service uh, in this space Chris. And it's very important uh, for our um, university press uh, because uh, uh, with this report uh, we could be counter compliant. And this uh, is a great feature for us. Uh, and uh, thank you for this integration. Let me say that's all uh, for now. And uh, I could uh, give the forward to the next talk if yeah. there are any, any questions. Great, great. Many thanks, Jordan, to share your, <laughs> your, uh, your you the way that you use the service. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. You, you stay, stay, stay connected in order to, to also to, to share. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. If, if people ask something, okay. So uh, you can stop sharing your screen and let's move to Brianna. Uh, let's go from Italy to Serbia. Um, hi, Brianna, can you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I hope you see my screen. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So my name is Brianna. I'm working as a node for Open Air for four years, but this time I will deliver some few slides about how we use uh, uh, dashboard for providers. So, and this is not only me, there are uh, a whole team and you will see why we are the whole team. So there are few of them already here with pictures, but uh, we have few more. So um, our uh, 
case is a little bit different since uh, our team is, is responsible for 16 repositories until now. Uh, and uh, some of them are, let's say, small, uh, about 1,000 records, but some of them are really big, more than 100,000 records. And we participate in the, participated in this um, uh, open air <coughs> provide as, as an open air provider from the I think very beginning, and I use this opportunity to thank uh, the Amelie from the University of Bielefeld uh, who helped us a lot uh, from the very beginning to go through all these uh, validation tools and that kind of things. So. Uh, we are responsible for the IT uh, side of all these repositories. All these repositories has their own repository managers, but in most cases they are librarians. And in this part of the world, librarians is just now becoming more uh, educated and trained uh, to work with all this. So this is the reason why we decided to help our repository managers, um, not only with the quality of metadata, but also uh, to make their repositories uh, open air compliant and to pass with them all steps. Uh, so, uh, until a few months ago, there was a request to first become an open door member, after that go through all these validations. So, we uh, help our repository managers with all these steps. And, of course, we, are, uh, we stay in touch with them, also uh, <laughs> deliver them all improvements. Uh, even if they are coming from the open air or from some other sites. And we are always trying to implement all these novelties and to deliver this to our repositories. So, this is the usual picture I used for the dashboard. And so, for me, this new design is really welcome since uh, every time I have to go through all these 16 and uh, to see if something is uh, going wrong. So, because it's happened from time to time, let's say last, uh, mm, mm, last occasion was that um, one of our repositories was, is on the older ver version of this space. So, and it could not be harvested before we migrated to the new version. So, and this is the page I visit almost one per week for all these 16 and see how the aggregation history is going, if everything uh, is okay. And also to see if the repository, exactly their repository managers are active, which means if uh, the number of records are increased in every step of this aggregation history. Also, um, I use this uh, provider dashboard uh, to update the data about the repositories, exactly if they change something. So I did uh, this for all of, the, for all of them. And of course, as for this uh, new tool, uh, we used quite heavily um, to enrich open access version. Uh, we do not uh, use the other type of uh, enrichment because we developed our tools uh, much more locally oriented, but for the finding uh, the open access version, we use this quite a lot. So, and when we <coughs> found that uh, there, there are some uh, open access version, we sent an alert 
to our repository management managers and uh, they could enrich the data also in their local repositories. So uh, this is uh, almost everything I would like to share for um, this community call and hope you find some, let's say, different views of the provider's dashboard. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, great. I see that you are a, a champion, like uh, having uh, so many repositories in your uh, in your account to check and to and to manage. Uh, this is a, good, a very good example. I like to see this screenshot from your from your dashboard with all the, yeah. the entries. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you, Brianna. You, thank, you, yeah. thank you, and uh, thank you for your input uh, regarding this. Um, specific uh, use case for the network of repositories in, in Serbia. Now we have uh, Ricardo, so Ricardo Saraiva from, from University of Minho, my colleague, uh, it's the repository manager. I don't know Ricardo, since uh, I don't know more than 15 years that you are the Yes, uh, over, the, yeah. over the six, over the past uh, 16 years, I've been working as the repository manager of University of Minho. So, uh, in my presentation, I will try after the very comprehensive presentations uh, that uh, have uh, answered me, I will try to give you some uh, short, a quick overview of some, some applications of uh, the, 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 the uh, use cases in, in Minio. So, um, I will show, I will try to showcase two in, in two examples uh, in terms of the, the validator and, and, and also in terms of the, the enrichments that we use uh, uh, the open air provide information uh, as very useful. Uh, so in terms of the, the validator, uh, uh, nowadays we are using this space 6.3 and we are already uh, uh, compliant with the open air guidelines uh, 3, but lately we have been pursuing uh, and with success the, to, 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 to comply with the, the, the guidelines uh, for. So what we have done uh, internally was to, 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 to promote internal metadata mappings and also to, to, to develop a new metadata format to comply with this. So the, the validator tool has been very useful as, as Jordan has as already uh, um, shown to, to, to see what uh, to, to see our our score in terms of uh, our 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 repository and also to 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 fine tune some some metadata some 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 things that we need to 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 see and to 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 correct to update so this this tool has been very very useful for for this um, another another thing that we have been using in, in uh, Open Air Provide has, has been the, 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 the broker, the, the enrichments, that's the, the information that we get from, from, from this, uh, this, 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 this service. So Pedro has already shown some, some of uh, these examples. We have the, the, the dashboard where we can find and also to subscribe the, the kind of uh, uh, enrichments that we found or what we think would be more useful for, for our own case. So we can, we can uh, subscribe these, these, uh, these, these, uh, these uh, uh, enrichments and giving, giving you just an example, for example, in terms of the, the projects, Jordan already also shown you, showed you a bit about this, but for example, if, if we found some, some projects that are missing, in our registries, what we can do is, for example, checking uh, the, this information in, in, the, the, in the broker, in the dashboards, and then afterwards using this information, also uh, uh, using the open air API for this and uh, uh, update this information locally. So all of these can, can afterwards give, give us uh, uh, some, some, some uh, advantage, some, some good things in terms of uh, uh, curating data and also, for example, in this case, uh, talking about project sponsorships aligned with, with for example, with uh, funders' requisites, etc. Okay, uh, as I said, my, my, my presentation is very brief. So I know that in terms of the open air, uh, there, there are, there's ongoing work in terms of new events, in terms of the broker new events. 
I, I know that's also new service as uh, uh, they are devising, they are developing new 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 services to to export the metadata, uh, CSVs, words, etc. But for example, just uh, just as a suggestion, also as a sort of a teaser, I think that would be uh, very relevant to to have. To, to for these events to 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 be uh, updated between aggregations to 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 have the possibility to cross check uh, registries between uh, using other metadata like the type date publisher journal uh, 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 to exclude possible uh, differences between for example a, a working paper and a paper uh, sometimes we find that a, a working paper and an article has the same title so just to try to, to filter these cases and also for example uh, uh, again uh, in terms of the the, the, the enrichments uh, when we we check when we we uh, have uh, update the, the 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 registries have the possibility to to ignore or to to mark the, these events as checked or as verified would be also a, a very nice uh, uh, and on an, and a very nice possibility for for a repository manager okay so that's more or less what i had prepared for for this as i said it was a very brief presentation uh, i think in the in the end or if you want we can can ask some questions but this is what i had uh, so thank you Many thanks, Ricardo, um, and thank you for for the, the highlighting this suggestion regarding the um, the, the aggregations, um, the alignment between the generation of enrichment events and the aggregation. This is quite important, and uh, I take this opportunity to explain. So, in the workflow, there is. Uh, this alignment is quite important. So currently, it's we don't have a perfect alignment between the um, the the aggregation, the collection, uh, and the generation of events. So you may uh, update your content, for example, following the example of Ricardo, um, in your repository using, for example, the project uh, reference um, mm -hmm. that is missing in your repository. So you update that. But then the same event, the same enrichment, we send it again in the uh, two weeks later or one month later because we didn't have refreshed all your content and open air still have the um, the, um, the same metadata information from your record before you have updated. So this is something that we we are aware and we need to update it and we we need to align this. Uh, these workflows uh, and we hope that we can improve this in order to facilitate and to make this service more comprehensive which is not uh, which is not good by the time being for example for ricardo we have ricardo have lots of, of metadata enrichments available uh, to check that in fact ricardo already did <laughs> the, the updates so this is important for you to understand and i see i think this is a practical case that uh, also others in this call also share so joan joan diaz now from um, from lisbon from the catholic university the portuguese catholic university also can share um, an example uh, because joan is also playing with uh, the provide dashboard uh, not only for the repository but also for journals so you can also uh, share your screen okay good and uh, and uh, thank you for joan to be available um, in a short time short notice to to share your your also your experience yeah. with, with open air hi thank you for the invitation and i will talk about the scientific journal uh, portal of the universidad catolica portuguesa um, universidad catolica portuguesa uh, implemented the open journal system in november of the last year um, we start with uh, five six journals but now we have 16 scientific journals, um, more than uh, 6,000 documents, and I hope and we hope in the next month uh, we will add more uh, three uh, journals to this portal. Uh, our concern is about the visibility and dissemination of the documents and the journals because, uh, for example, some journals uh, just have a web page in the portal of UCP or um, uh, 
or just uh, one portal dedicated to the journal, but is not uh, are not the uh, open journal system. It's just uh, HTML or WordPress, and and this is not good. So uh, open journal system. Uh, we are concerned with visibility and dissemination of the the, the documents, and um, we we. Uh, we assign all DOIs to all the documents. Uh, this is for us a, a main goal. Uh, all the documents have Creative Commons license and all documents are aggregated by RCAP and OpenAir. Most authors uh, with, uh, with our sick or kids, um, we, we, are lo we love the persistent identifiers. So of course, our kid uh, is not missing. And, all the bibliographic reference in HTML in the web page of the, doc, the, the, the document, article or not. And uh, three journals for now export metadata to DOAS. And of course, we are working to add more um, journals in the DOAS. And we have, the, we have more than 3,000 3, uh, page views and more and almost uh, 8,000 uh, users since uh, November and the last year. This is an example of uh, an article. Uh, for example, we have the orchids from two all, two all authors. Uh, actually, uh, if one author wants to submit the, the, the article, need to create an um, uh, orchid, um, need to create the orchid to submit the article. Um, we, as I say, uh, the reference, uh, we add the, all the reference in the, the, the web page. We toy, we use the link reference crossref, and as I said, we, we love persistent identifiers. Um, and we have the DOI uh, of the, 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 the article and the creative comments. Um, Okay, open air provide our experience. Um, we we, uh, we make the registration of all journals in the open air and the portal too. Uh, we want to, of course, the, the uh, aggregate all the metadata. We want to validate and re enrichment. Um, the pro uh, for now we just re make the register, but we don't uh, we don't have the aggregation, and we are waiting that the the open air and make some updates to to, to aggregate our uh, documents. This is one example. Okay. Um, we use the provide to validate. We have um, uh, 60, uh, 60 journals and it's just not the, the, the librarians who insert the information, the metadata. We have an uh, editorial board, so we have a lot of people, different people uh, with different backgrounds to insert, uh, insert this um, metadata and the, 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 the PDF. So, uh, as you can see here, um, we forgot to, 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 to attribute the, the Creative uh, Commons license and Thank you, and the, 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 the open air provide uh, show this uh, missing or this error. The other one is the PDF and uh, the, the, the validator um, show in the immediately that is missing a PDF and with one click we ac access to this um, article and add the PDF. The next step that we want, yeah, we want to to, to use the, the statistics uh, from the open journal system in the open air, in the open air provide. And uh, of course, uh, we want to um, manage the enrichment uh, of the, the articles and the documents. And for example, because the ORCID, not all the authors um, have as uh, um, ORCID. And if uh, one repository uh, insert this information, we will receive uh, a notification and we will enrich this uh, metadata in our open journal system or uh, the reference of the project. Uh, the, it's the same case. Okay, stay connected. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Stay connected. 
Yeah, stay safe and stay connected. Mm -hmm. Stay at home. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so thank you as well for sharing this experience, uh, recent experience of uh, of um, validating and uh, and proceeding with the registration of uh, the collection of journals that you have in your uh, university. So um, we are available now for for questions or for others to to share to share also your uh, use cases. I know that there are different people here that also have similar experiences um, with, uh, uh, with this service. Uh, so if you want to, to share, uh, it's, it's, so feel free to, to um, uh, use your microphone or camera to share uh, your thoughts. Um, just checking here if you have any, if we have any, so we have already here a contribution from, from Lucas from Sensor Community, so we will, will contact you and we know that I think also for via Germany we have also some contacts here. Uh, so Andre already shared the, the presentation, maybe you can share once again Andre for those that have joined later. Um, not sure if we have uh, questions in the um, in the document. We have also a Google document to, to where you can put the questions during the meeting or or later if you if you want to, to clarify some things. Not sure if uh, someone also from UniB, from our colleagues from UniB, also want to say something uh, regarding these uh, things regarding the aggregation process, the workflow, just to clarify our colleagues here if we, if you think it's it's needed. Um, okay, I don't see uh, any question here. Um, not for this, not for this call. Yes, for only for the previous calls. Um, if you want to to say something, so uh, feel free. Also, we have we have here five six minutes more. If you want to ask something directly to João or to or to so, João, from from your experience, just just a quick question. So, you so the the experience using the validator was a kind of uh, easy to do thing, or is it was uh, uh, painful? <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's very easy uh, actually. Um, if we compare it to old uh, <laughs> open provider, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it's very difficult to understand what we have to do with this is very easy and um, of course uh, I, I need to check well, more uh, one or two things because we ju just check the the missing pdf and the the missing license but yeah it's very easy um we and uh, uh i'm i'm waiting for the enrichment uh, i i hope we found uh, more um, metadata to yes. to, to enrich the, the open journal system so yeah it's very easy thank you okay thank you very much um yeah and this part of the enrichments for journal is also is also important because we we see all the added value um service uh, when we talk about uh, reposi publication repositories for for the enrichments but we see also interesting things we uh, for to offer to journals so it's important also to have these use cases from journals. Um, Bliana, Jordan, Ricardo, do you want to have more, something more that also came to your mind after um, watching the, the, the other presentations? Um, if you want to just jump in and, and share. Yes, uh, let me say, uh, like someone uh, wrote on the chat, uh, we are waiting for the APIs for the Richmond events so that uh, could uh, be more integrated in our repository software. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm <laughs> checking now the chat. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, this is important. So um, great, uh, yeah, this is the one one critical issue. We are not sure about the the sword the, um, to have a way okay. also to open air to provide uh, via uh, sword server, but uh, the CSV file um, we we will do Start it as as, as as soon as possible. I, 
I would like to have it already done, uh, but all these uh, things um, about COVID, you know, that put uh, and, and also not about the way that we work, but more um, the, because we need we were obliged to prioritize other activities in in, in open air, also to have a, a specific open science gateway for for COVID, and we have delayed some some technical developments, but the CSV. Uh, is something that we really want to offer them to like for each of the um, enrichments that we have you, you can have available a csv file to download and you can filter and we can generate the you can filter the the events and you we can generate also a csv file for you for you like like we do in explore service in explore for example explore.openair.eu for all the the the, the queries the that you do in the in the discovery service you can download the csv until 2000 records so it's, it's something that we can we can do it easily okay brianna is asking uh, the difficult question <laughs> how will all this continue to work in 2021 uh, I, th I think for the um, I think the having uh, all this exposure and having these community calls and uh, and not only these community calls, it's something that we are putting uh, uh, the um, the need of this service available for all for sure. Um, open air. This service is a service that we uh, can have um, clear um, cost benefit uh, uh, features. I think uh, open air legal entity will maintain this this service uh, in my opinion uh, much easier than others but but <laughs> this is my opinion and for sure uh, for if we are talking about 2021 this service will continue if we are talking a longer term um, we need to, to to find ways but um, provide provide service uh, from open air is clearly uh, uh, an AOSC uh, service. Um, uh, maybe it should 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 gain more importance in the context of uh, AOSC uh, as also uh, an entrance for the providers of of uh, of content of um, research products. For EOSC, um, I believe that um, so provide will will uh, have a long life um, in open air and also as a, as a, a relevant service uh, within the EOSC ecosystem. I will say if I so if I may answer like this, <laughs> but you can also share your your, your thoughts about this. Okay, uh, so um, if if you have any any other comment, please please do. Um, so uh, in the meantime, uh, as we are coming to the end, you, you can share your thoughts or you can just ask for questions. But we will have two more minutes. Just I want to highlight the upcoming call. So we have one more call scheduled uh, for um, the first Wednesday of June. So June the third. Uh, then we will we will schedule the other call. So we just uh, need to decide if we if we do it uh, if we skip one month in the, in the summer or not. But due to these times, we don't know if we have holidays or summer. <laughs> but let's check. Uh, so we will schedule and we will put in this home page in this uh, web page of the community calls or schedule the the community calls until the end of the of the year. And please join all the as you know notes, recording slides will be available in the same home page where you can check or check later. We know that uh, several people um, check the, the recordings after. Uh, sometimes they are not available to follow this um, live. And uh, I also want to highlight uh, uh, the newsletter. Please do not forget to subscribe the newsletter if you want to follow uh, also these novelties uh, uh, around services for repository managers for content provider managers please subscribe the newsletter we send out the newsletter for all the uh, uh, contacts registered in the provide service but uh, you can also subscribe the newsletter and receive it uh, so we usually we send it uh, so 
the day before or two days before the community call in the first uh, in the first Wednesday of the month. So we will keep this um, periodicity. Um, okay, so and Andrea already shared here the presentation, already shared here the link also to subscribe the newsletter. So one hour uh, after we start, uh, we can finish. Um, we all have several other commitments. So uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, I have a special thanks to, to Brianna, to Jordan, to Ricardo and to João for sharing your experience using the, the service. I think this is good to in a in an informal environment. I hope that others uh, will found it useful. Um, and uh, if you want to subscribe the newsletter, please uh, follow this link. If you want to um, to participate, to join uh, this effort of, of improving the service, you can also offer yourself to, to this user test. It's just, so we, I think we just, we will just use um, one hour, uh, one hour and a half from your time for this task um, in the coming two weeks. And, um, and then, and then stay connected, as 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 Joel said, suggests so to our services and stay tuned, receiving our information. So it was a pleasure to 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 share this uh, this six uh, open air provide call and uh, uh, and and thank you for joining and to be part of open air. So stay safe and um, and uh, see you um, in one of the upcoming meetings or in our. Uh, next call. Bye-bye all.